when you're creating music, in addition to writing the notes and the time signatures and the, the lines and so on that go around music, you will also have to create text. There are a large number of different types of text that are involved in music, if you think about it. And Sibelius obviously gives you the option to use all of those, plus a few more that you probably haven't even thought of. So let's have a look at how we can do it. I'm going to go to obviously to the text tab, so let's go there. And you'll see here there's an, a group called Styles, and this is where you can select the type of text you want to use. Now for example, we in another video added expression text, dynamics in other words, to some notes. But it's expression text, so we can do that directly from here. So we can go to here, and you can see there are all the different types of text available to you. Lots and lots to choose from. As I said, there's some in there that you probably hadn't thought of. But right at the top, under the common group, there's expression text there. And it actually sh shows you the, the shortcut that we used earlier, Control e So I can click on there, tell it where I want the text to appear, right-click in there, and select the dynamic that I want. Simple as that. Looking on here again, you'll see there are a lot of other types of text. Ignore what it actually says here. It's the title, it's the, the type of text at the bottom you're interested in. You don't have to name your piece Symphony in E flat, for example. You can call it what you like. But if I'm going to use the title text, again the blue arrow says where, tells me up there, and I type my title. And escape to stop. The font and the size that the text appears as is really set by the house style that you set, that you chose whenever you created your score in the first place, but you can alter it individually if you prefer. Be wary though of altering things like dynamics or, or text around the music because they tend to be set to be the, the correct font and size and thickness that the player will need to see to be able to play the music accurately. Things like the title, however, you're free to do what you like with. So for example, I can select that. All of these options become available to me. So I can change the font, for example. Um, anything that's in, involved, that's installed in your system will appear up here. And you can change it. Let's try it. I'm not sure I like that one. Let's try. There's Comic Sans. We all love Comic Sans. You can change the size. Using that there, and you can decide if you want it bold or italic or both. Let's go for italic. So there's my title. And again, you can do this with pretty much anything there. So your subtitle, composer, lyricist, etc., they're all there. Some different types of text have specific properties that you need to be aware of. For example, the title here, if I decide I want to move this up and down, I'm free to do so. But if I try and move it left or right, I can't do that because the title appears in the middle of the top of your piece, obviously. That's a, a fairly straightforward thing to say. But it also means that, for example, if I decide to add um, a composer, if I click over here, it actually adds it over on the, right, on the right. Because that's where the composer name should appear. And again, I can move it up and down, but I can't move it left or right. Similarly, with the uh, lyricist, that will appear over here. There is another aspect to using text. If I go to my Home tab and open up the Inspector, I'm going to pin that there so that it's going to stay there. When I select a piece of text, all the properties for that text appear, and I can then feel free to edit those and change them and make it, really tweak it to my heart's content to look exactly how I want it. I'm going to look at the inspector in a lot more detail in a separate video, but it's worth just having a wee play with some of these. So you can add, for example, a text frame. You can change this, the width and height of that. You can decide on the scale of it. You can change the text frame from there. You can change the angle. If you want to change the angle that your text is at, the line spacing. There are no lines there, but the tracking is the distance between, this, between the letters, etc, etc, etc. There's lots of options there for you to choose from. So that's a quick overview of using text in Sibelius.